Welcome to our Software Ideas Modeler tutorial series. Today, we will explore Nasi Schneiderman diagrams. These diagrams are essential for structuring programming logic and are particularly useful for visualizing the flow of control in algorithms, making them an invaluable tool for developers and educators alike. Let's jump right into creating a Nasi Schneiderman diagram for illustrating prime number evaluation. First, let's add a new diagram. On the project sidebar, you'll find the new diagram button in the top toolbar. Clicking on it reveals a dialog. In the dialog, navigate to the other group, or for a quicker search, simply type NAS into the find text box. Next, we'll name our diagram. Let's type prime numbers into the name text box and hit the OK button. With our diagram created, it's time to start editing. On your screen, you'll see the toolbox panel on the left side. This panel is your gateway to all the diagram elements you'll need. Navigate through the toolbox to find the function element. The function container is essential for encapsulating the main logic of our program or algorithm. Once you've located the function element, click and hold it. Now, drag it towards the center of the diagram canvas. As you move, you'll notice a ghost image of the element following your cursor, indicating where it will be placed upon release. Now, let's add our first step within the function. Simply click on the plus button in the context bar to insert a new process element, named read max number. Our algorithm evaluates odd and even numbers in parallel. To visualize this, we'll add a concurrent element next. Navigate back to the toolbox and find the concurrent element. Drag and drop it into our function container, just below the read max number process. Drag a loop element from the toolbox into the first path of the concurrent element and name it. Iterate over odd numbers up to max number with i. This loop will handle the iteration over odd numbers. Within this loop, we add a condition element to check if i is a prime number with branches for yes and no. In the yes branch, we'll add a process. Simply select the compartment and click on the add process button in the context bar. Enter print i. Similarly, add another loop element to the second path for even numbers. Name it. Iterate over even numbers up to max number with i. Select the condition element within the first loop by clicking on it. Once selected, press Ctrl C on your keyboard to copy it. Now move your cursor to the second loop designated for even numbers. Click inside the loop to ensure it's the active area for our next action. Press Ctrl V to paste the condition we just copied. A dialog appears. Choose the Paste as a New Instance option and click on the OK button. With our diagram complete, let's give it some flair by applying colorful styles to the elements. And there you have it, a Nasi Schneiderman diagram for evaluating prime numbers in Software Ideas Modeler. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Happy diagramming.